I was going to rest and be off for a little while. But my plan is never the plan of God. Amen. At 7 a.m., I'd been dealing with this enemy that's been warring against my body. Spiritual warfare is real. And we have to bring this enemy, this strong man, into judgment. Our faith, our faith will move God. I know that to be the truth. I have seen it time and a time in my life that God moves when we have faith and believe and trust in Him. We have to bring judgment against this strong man that is warring against us on a daily basis. This enemy never sleeps. He is always plotting and planning his ways to attack the members of the body of Christ. God has already equipped us with everything that we need to win this victory through faith in Jesus Christ. We have to step up to spiritual battle. The battles that this enemy is raging against you and I. Pulling down the spiritual strongholds that this enemy has against us. Second Corinthians 10 and 4, we need to remember that our weapons are not fleshly. We cannot fight a spiritual battle with fleshly weapons. Ephesians 6 and 12, this is the reason why we put on the whole armor of God. We are putting on the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ to fight against this enemy that is warring against us. Who better to put on than the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ who has won victory and he is more than a conqueror and he is mighty through the power of God himself. And our weapons are mighty in God pulling down every stronghold, casting down every imagination that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Our weapons have power from God that can destroy this enemy in his strong places. We have the power and the authority. In Jesus Christ's most holy name, we have all the power of heaven and it's on our side. And it's working for us and not against us. This enemy never sleeps. And it's time to take authority over this enemy. And to remember who we are in Christ Jesus. We are the redeemed of the Lord. We are the blood-bought church. So we're going to order by the power and the authority that's been given to us to the binding of of every strong man in our life to bind and paralyze every enemy the strong man that has come in like a flood we're going to take back everything this enemy has taken from us binding this enemy back into hell where he came from releasing ourselves out of the hands of this strong man and binding this enemy with spiritual blindness. And I don't know about you, church, but I'm firing back every error, every dart, everything this enemy has fired against me. I'm turning it around and firing those arrows back at this enemy. We know that the Lord is for us and not against us. We know that we can recover our blessings. Matthew 12 and 9 tells us, How can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods except you first bind the strong man? That's what we need to do. How the saints, how the church is attacked. The enemy attacks all of us and every day we face 
problems. And it is called the stronghold and the strong man. And it is the secret of the strength of this enemy, this stronghold this enemy has on us. We know the devil is a liar. This enemy never sleeps. Every day there's an attack either on our mind, on our body, against our families. In one way or another, we are in spiritual warfare. But we will win the victory. The power of faith and prayer. The word of God is our sword. It is our spiritual weapon. So take the sword of your mouth and win the victory over this enemy. Speak the word. Faith cometh by hearing. We're going to win, church. We are going to win the victory through our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. But remember, there is nothing that we are facing that someone else in this world is also facing it. So we're having the same attacks because the devil doesn't have any new weapons. He continues to use the same weapons that he has used since the beginning of time. Why should he change them? They've been working for him so far. We can live a life free of this enemy. God can help us. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Whom the Son has set free is free indeed. Jesus set us free from the law of sin and death. We will resist the devil and he will flee from us. We will stand steadfast in the faith, under trial, in tribulation. We will steadfast in the faith, trusting and believing in the power of our God. Our soul is anchored to the word of God. And we will win this victory. Even though it is an unseen battle, an enemy we cannot see, you must prepare yourself for spiritual warfare. Armor up. The Lord is with us like a mighty warrior. The armies in heaven are fighting the good fight of faith with us. Above all, take the olive oil. And bless the oil. Pray over it. And take it. And anoint your house. Your children. Anoint your doors where the enemy is moving in. Seal the door, church, with the oil. I've done it many, many times. And I'm thankful to God for the oil. And the power of faith. And the power of the blood of the Lamb of God. Church, the battle is real. That enemy is warring against us. Is principalities, powers, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places. As soldiers of Christ, we're not new to this enemy. We're not new to this battle. We have been in this battle a long time. We're at war daily with this enemy and even with our own flesh. We battle this flesh every day to bring it under submission, under the will and the word of God. Because it's unruly. It's lawlessness because it's of this world and the darkness of this world. The enemy is moving against all of us on a daily basis. But we're not sitting over here helpless. We have the armor of God. And I thank God for every piece of that armor. It is faith. Faith is powerful, church. Faith is powerful. Our armor is spiritual. We know that. We know it is a spiritual armor. 
because God knows we cannot fight against this enemy with fleshly weapons. But that's what the enemy wants you to do. He wants you to move in your flesh. Well, in your flesh, there is no good thing. If we move in our flesh, then he has defeated us. But as long as we are moving in the spirit of the Lord, fighting this enemy with the word of God, that's what Jesus did. He taught us how to do this, how to win this victory. When he was at his lowest moment, when he was in the wilderness to be tempted 40 days and 40 nights, he was at his lowest moment to show this enemy that in the weakness of his flesh, he would still be mightier than this enemy, stronger than this enemy. Because you see, he knew all along that his weapons were not fleshly. He didn't care about that flesh. He knew who he was spiritually and he would say to this enemy it is written you see we even see all through the word of God and we even see in Revelations 19 that rider on that white horse and his power is that he is the word of God and that the word of God is the sword of his mouth he knows that the only way to win against this enemy is through the word of God the sword of the spirit. You see, you don't need anything else. All you need is the word of God to defeat this enemy. So when the enemy is coming after you, let this enemy know what is written in the word of God and you'll win the victory. Because see, once you start getting in there and you start talking out of your flesh, that devil has you right where he wants you because he knows you possess no power over him. But he certainly knows that the word of God is powerful and it is sharper than any two-edged sword and that enemy knows that. He knows the word of God is what will defeat him and this enemy and this spiritual wickedness that is warring against us every day. And he is moving. He is coming in like a flood. Like I said, church, I had plans of resting. But my plans are never the plans of the Holy Spirit of God. And I'm always a willing vessel to be used any way the Holy Spirit of God wishes. You have a blessed and victorious day today. In Jesus Christ's most holy name we pray and let the church say amen and amen. Church, we are at war. And as we get closer to the return of Jesus Christ, as we move closer, church, we know we're close. We're 2,000 years closer than they were in the Old Testament. We know we're closer. As more the word of God unfolds and in the fulfillment of Bible prophecy gets us that much closer. And as that enemy knows that his time is short, he's not going to hold back either. He's going to move in the, in the strength of the power of the armies upon this world to defeat his enemy, which is the church in Israel. And the Holy Spirit of God warned me that we are moving in a time that there's going to be such hate against both, against the Jewish people and against the church, that it will not be a good day to say, I am a Jew or I'm a Christian. Because that's where we're going. Because that enemy knows that we are his enemy. And he will do everything that he could do to destroy both the Jewish people, and the church. We are enemies at war. And make no mistakes about it, that devil knows exactly who you are. And he's working to stop you. And all we have to do is just stand 
with the word of God in our mouth and speak the word to this enemy. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. How to beat the devil at his own game? Simply refuse to play the devil's game. If you don't do anything that he has lost, his power is in his deception of how he can cause you to move in your flesh. After that, he already knows he has won the victory. But we're not going to move out of our, the weakness of our flesh. We're moved by the Spirit of God. We're going to walk in the Spirit, talk in the Spirit, be led by the Spirit, speak the Word of God, which is Spirit, the sword of the Spirit, and win this victory against this enemy. You see, it's about the warrior that's within you that will show God the strength of that warrior, the prayer warrior that knows how to win the battle through faith and prayer. And with the word of God, we will defeat this enemy. But anytime you move in the weakness of that flesh, that devil knows he has you where he wants you. But a seasoned Christian that has salt well seasoned knows how to win the victory I am well seasoned church I've been at this a long time I don't have new written on my forehead and that enemy knows it he has been warring against my body but I'm not going to give that old devil any glory or any praise I don't want him to know what he is doing is working he is defeated he is a defeated enemy. My Lord and my Savior, Jesus Christ, who has won that victory for me and you. All I have to do is just stand. Stand in the power of his might. The power of his strength. That's all I got to do is stand. God already got this. I don't have to do anything else but stand in faith. Trusting and believing in the power of my God. And know that this enemy, that this enemy that's warring against you and I, will be put under our feet. And we will trample this enemy under the brass feet of Zion. Because our horn is iron. Our king is strong. That's the power of our Christ. Amen. Have a blessed and victorious day today, my dear precious friends. In Jesus Christ's most holy name we pray and let the church say amen and amen. I love you, my dear precious friends. I thank God for each and every one of you. I appreciate you more than words can say. Thank you for standing together with me in this amazing gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Know that you are always on my heart and in my prayers. Keep me in yours. Have a blessed day today, church.